Hi everyone, Massive Das um, here with this week's eShop update and unfortunately it's slightly different. I'm f I don't know why but my El Gato, which I've uh, been using all this time to do the gameplay videos that's on the channel, eShop update, I used it last night to record some videos that are going up after this because um, we've uh, got stuff scheduled up until like Tuesday. So I've been using that, been working fine, it's totally dead and doing diddly squat can't even get a picture on my uh, TV screen um, so I've uninstalled it and that the uh, program but even the program bit I don't think it's the issue I think it's actual the the device because you still you, um, should get a picture on the TV screen pass through so that's really annoying because obviously trying to bring you content you know we're up and going again you know lots of stuff now uh this so i don't know what will happen going forward but i can give you a brief eShop update um obviously i got this picture here which has got um the switch the 3ds and the wii u yes some wii u games but i have a brief, uh, brief rundown um so we got um this week we got stardew uh stardew valley that came out that was 10.99 that was you know huge shit on pcs now you know it was on consoles as well a few others but now come to switch seems like a really good fit to the switch it's a harvest moon style uh, sort of game then the okay, um, lovers in dangerous space sign that came out that's a co-op game it's at least two players up to four um it came out like on a third no like last tuesday or thursday or something it came out after like last week's but before you know the main update this week and yet actually on verse there will be footage of this going up and this has already been recorded. This is from Thomas Hat. One man made this. this is a Metroidvania line. That's fourteen ninety nine. Then you got one that I'm really excited about. I played this on PS4. Uh, uh, PS4 um, last year. It came out early next last year, like January. I believe it may even came like December twenty fifteen to the Steam. It's Oxen Free. Really excited that's coming to Switch. It's a fantastic game. If you like your story driven sort of like Telltale like games. It's worth checking out. It's 2D, like side scrolling. So it sort of has like um, LucasArts old um, sort of like puzzle games like that feel to it. But that's that. That's 15.99. Really recommend that. And that's most probably be not going for Stardew. Go for this this week. I know a lot of people also think Action on Verge. And then you got Atlantis, which got this really unique um, uh, art style. It's like black and white sort of thing. Um, you. It's called Earth Atlantis, you're underwater and that. Uh, it's like a side scrolling shooter. That's come out, that's thirteen forty nine. Uh really weird price. Then Tumblestone, this is a puzzle um, sort of game. I believe it's been on the Wii U. Um sort of like a tower block puzzle game and like you know, Tetris or columns goes up like that. That's eleven ninety nine. Then you got Ninja Showdown from Rising Star Games and this is nine ninety nine. Um it's like a local ma uh, uh, multiplayer game. It's you know arena battles and stuff like that. Then you got the Volga the Viking. That's eight ninety nine. It's also on Wii U as well. Um, yeah, it's a really tough action platformer. I do own the game on a not on the Wii U because all the Switches don't just come out on there and not on the system you'd think it would be. I was going to bring you a special of this showing showing the game, but without the capture, uh, it might be a bit hard. And then we got Metal Slug X. This is like a reimagining of Number Two, um. So that's you know that's uh, six twenty nine because they're part of the Hamster Arcade archives. And we got Tower Tower of Babel, which came out last week in the states. That's eight ninety nine. And then you also got a demo of Just Dance twenty eighteen, which there will be footage of me playing on that coming up. And then you got Spelunker Party, um, Party, um, the demo of that's going on the seventeenth. And there's also DLC for Mario Rabbids. King of Battle, that's the Pixel Pack, that's £2.49, and some free DLC for Infinite Mini Golf, and I believe um, Blaster Master Zero is getting some free DLC as well. In the States, it's basically the same, all of them exactly the same. Actually, they're getting less games, but there's two retail games coming on the 10th, that's on a Tuesday. Um, that's Tohoku Ko Butu V Burst Battle, and that's uh, $30, it is coming. And you know, to the, to the Europe, I believe it's on the twelfth physically over here. So it's likely to come out on the Friday download in Europe. So that'll be next week. And then you got Tiny Vibarian DX, which again is getting physical um, one in the states. And uh, from Nikalis, so it comes like the um, 
instruction manual and things like that. Again, it is coming to Europe, I believe, but doesn't seem to be coming on Tuesday. It's most probably a Friday release in Europe, but it's twenty nine ninety nine. I did check on my Switch what Japan got, and it's pretty much they had the least releases of any of the regions, but they did get Koi, um, like the Koi Cup. Um, it was originally on PS4 and Vita and that that came, and I think it was five hundred. Uh, yen so really cheap and they've also got I had a brief look at their pre-orders pretty much the same but Monopoly from Ubisoft is now listed in there as well and this one was shown in the first trailers of the switch where the switch was lying on the on the ground and they're using like the screen as a Monopoly board so that could be an interesting thing so yeah really sorry about this week's eShop update I, do, I still wanted to get one out and something out news will still be going up and there's still videos going up and hopefully we can sort out the capture um, issue as soon as possible anyway i've been master das and i'll see you again